Okay, the idea of uh, this next project is learn how we can drag items across the screen like this. The face has changed, it's got slightly bigger and also if I let go of him he's going to bounce away for a while. It's uh, quite a challenging project really for a beginner but uh, first part of it I'm just going to show you how to do the drag part, how we can drag it, the image around the screen, how the image changes and eventually how the um, image gets larger and then finally we let go and it bounces away that's quite a difficult thing to do at the end so um, this what we're going to do for the next few hours is uh, get this project working first thing I want you to do is create a project uh, make sure you choose single view application click next uh, let's call it touches demo uh, you can make the class prefix touches make sure it's targeted for the iPad and make sure all of these boxes are unticked and click next to create the project okay one of the other things you need to do in your project is make sure the project options are unticked like this uh, you should also go to your nib file, the touches view controller, and make sure. Let's have a look. Make sure that it's set to landscape here. You can change the background color if you want. You can just click any color you like and uh, change the background there. And you'll notice that I've imported some images into my project. Big Smile, Ha Ha we'll use later, and Grimace. You can find these images on the um, Icon Finder website. And the particular set of images I've come from, I guess if you go in here and you search on Popo, Emoticons, or Blasey, you should find these images and save them to your desktop and then drag them into your project in underneath supporting files okay in the interface file we want to declare some of the objects that we are going to use in our interface and the first one is the actual image that appears on the uh, screen and we're going to use an image view control and I'm just going to call it face and I need to do a property for this. So I just set this up non atomic retain IB outlet U, UI image view and face. And I need one method just at the beginning. I want to initialize my. Uh, a little application when it first starts. So I'll just call that any. Show eyes demo like that. Okay, so that's the header file. We need one image view called face, and we've got one method that we're going to use called initialize demo. So that's the uh, header file sorted for now. Okay, the first thing we need to do is telling us this little error flag up here is telling us we've got incomplete implementation. Uh, first thing I should do is synthesize the face image view and I need to add my method. Now I'm just gonna, I've got it sitting in memory, I'm just going to paste it in here. Oops, that's no good. Start again. So the method is called uh, void initialize demo and I've got the code again like I said in memory there it is okay it doesn't know what this face size variable is I'll come and explain this in a minute we can define some constants in our program if I press alt 3 and say define I'm gonna call it face face size 
and I'm going to make it 100 points on the screen. So my face size is going to be 100 points tall and 100 points wide. So uh, let's look at this initialize demo method. The first thing it's going to do is get rid of the status bar. So the little bar on the iPad that's got the battery level, the time, uh, any wireless connections, etc., that's going to disappear so we can use the full screen. And then what we're going to do with the uh, face uh, image view control, we're going to make it a particular size and I want to center it on the page. So these two parameters here, these center it on the page. This one centers it uh, horizontally across and this one centers it vertically. Now the screen size is um, 1024 pixels wide so we divide that by two because I want it in the middle and the face size, there's a little bug there that I should say zero, the face size is a hundred so I want to divide it by two give me fifty and then subtract fifty from five hundred and twelve so that will push it into the center spot within the screen and then we do the same for the vertical position and this is the width and height of the image and when we first do this I want it to be showing showing the uh, big smile image so let me just remind you that is big smile okay so this is the initialize demo method and I need to call that from view did load so I'll just say self initialize demo it's got it there already yep and if I press command B just to check for any errors in my project there are none there's one more thing left to do uh, there's my image let me just check I've actually connected it up already but I've dragged an image view control into the middle of the page and I can drag it by there's a few different methods um, if I select the referencing outlets um, page up here if I just drag this across from here and click there it's connected up in the code there is one more way to do this I'm going to show you how to do that while I'm here let's delete that connection let's get rid of um, some of these things on the side and let's switch to this view so now I've got my uh, interface builder here I've got my H file over here if you can't see your H file you should be able to click it somewhere here and switch between the files so I've got my H and M file so I need to look at the H and then if I press control key down and then drag it to there I'm connecting up my image view control on the interface builder to the image view definition in my H file just let go it's connected up and if I run the project now let's do that let's just get rid of that message and you can see it's sitting in the middle of the page it's not doing anything I can't click and drag it at the moment but that's what we'll do next right now I want to um, handle some touching events that happen on the iPad screen when the application is running now I've written some of the outline if you like shells for these methods down here and I've stored them in the snippets window and if I just move to the snippets window and then just choose the ones that have been defined by me uh, I'm interested in this method touches began and if I just drag it across here and stick it there this is an outline method so I store this because I use these little pieces of code again and again and uh, I need to write some code that will change the image now I'm I'm going to be a bit lazy I'm gonna copy this and I'm just going to stick it down here let me tab it out it's giving me a little warning message here that's because my location variable I haven't used it anywhere but I can ignore that at the moment so this is kind of going to work what I need to do is just change uh, the name of my file here to Grimace oh, let me do it lowercase all 
Okay, so what will happen? Anytime there's a touches event on the screen, it's going to uh, display the image grimace. It's not going to work as I want at the moment, but I just want to show you incrementally how this project is going to work. So let's just run that. And if I just... Now the problem with this is if I click anywhere the image is going to change and it doesn't change back. So it hasn't quite worked as I wanted. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, but I've clicked some on the screen and the image has uh, changed. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is handle uh, this event so that we know that we've clicked inside the face image. So all I have to do is add this line of code. If the rectangle that is surrounding the face, if the location clicked is actually inside that frame, then we're going to change the image to be the grimace image. And that's that image here. So when we click on the face, it's going to change. So we're we're using the location method. So location actually stores the X and Y position of the uh, point that was touched on the screen and we're just asking if that's inside the frame. So let's run that and see what happens. So I'm clicking elsewhere outside of the image, nothing is happening. I click inside the image, changes. Okay, I've clicked up, it hasn't changed back, that's a problem now. So we need to fix that so that when we let go of the screen, the image changes back. And we'll do that in a moment. What we need to do is handle the touches ended event. So if I just put that in here, yeah. Um, I need to I need a new variable now because I need to track whether the image was clicked or not so what I'm going to do is go to my h file and add another uh, variable up here it's a boolean it's a yes or no uh, data type if you like and I'm gonna call it face touched okay and I'm just going to do a property for that and because it's not an object variable, I can just use the words assign inside the brackets here. And face touched. And if I press Control Command up arrow, I can quickly switch to my header file. And all I have to do is add or synthesize my face touched variable. All right, and I'm going to keep track of whether the face has been touched. So what I could do inside my initialization is say face touched equal to no. So when the application first starts, that variable is initialized to no. And I actually want to uh, set it here. So I can put face touched is equal to yes. So we know that we've touched the image. I'm right, just move that brace underneath here okay so when we um, detect that we've clicked inside the image we're just going to set face touched equal to yes and what we're going to do in here is we're going to ask if oops I shouldn't have done that if face touched is equal to yes so has it been touched and we're going to say, in fact, I'll just copy this line up here. Come and see and put it here. Okay. And also what we should do is say face touched is now equal to no. So we reverse. We're using this as a flag to find out whether the face is currently being touched. So we've let go of the, if you like, we've let go of the uh, screen. So we've touched up, if you like. We're going to change the image back to face and we're going to reset the face touch variable to no so the next time when we come up here it's going to work. In fact there's a little bug in here and what I've forgotten to do is to put another command in here 
that says and face touched equal to yes so we will change the image if we've touched inside the face and and face touched is equal to no okay so hopefully this is going to hmm. face touched equal to no I think that's going to work. Let's find out. If I click on it, it changes. If I let go, it changes back. So that's working now. Touch down, changes the image. Touch up, changes it back to how it was before. So the face touch variable here is enabling us to do that transition using the touches began event and the touches ended now the next thing we want to do is I want to be able to click on this image while it's got the grimace face and then drag it round the screen that's the next step so we'll do that next again I've saved the code for this down here if you like the outline of it down here in my snippet library my user defined snippet library. So if I just drag that in between the two of those, this is, the, if you like, the almost like the default method really for the handling uh, moved touches, if you like, on the screen. Um, so what I'm going to do here now is I'm I want to know I don't want to move anything unless, if you like, face touched is equal to yes so I need an if statement down here I'm going to say if face touched is equal to yes then I'm going to do something and what I want to do is just say that face dot center is equal to location okay now this is a very simple piece of code really so we're only going to move the face if it's being touched and the new location if you like when we move it where we're going to put this face is location and this location variable gets set constantly as um, somebody is moving their finger across an iPad screen and it contains the current X and Y position of where somebody is touching on the screen and all we're doing is if face touch is equal to yes we're just making face dot center equal to location let's see if that's going to work for us let's click on our icon and look he's moving around So that's been quite successful really. Now this is the first step towards getting our uh, project working. I'm going to uh, stop this video now and the additional parts of this project I'm going to put in uh, a separate video.